in this demo we are going to take the exam experience using exam sandbox and duration and question types that we can expect in the exam go to dp900 exam page on microsoft to learn and click on exam sandbox this will open the sandbox you will be first able to see the agreement the remaining time total duration and the time for this exam when this exam was last updated the points you should agree with you could also change the color scene to suit your eyes click on yes and then next this will again highlight the exam number that you are appearing for what is the maximum time for this session including instructions a survey and the exam what are the total number of questions are going to be there for this exam the total number of case studies expected in this exam what is with the maximum time for the actual exam and you must score at least 700 out of 1000 to pass this exam click on next again you will be presented with the high level points regarding the do's and don'ts as well as various aspects of this exam for example you could now take unscheduled breaks during the examination itself however you must make a note that you can take multiple breaks but when you are taking a break the exam time continues and whatever questions you have attempted so far you cannot revisit them if you are taking a break and so on i would urge you to go through these points click on next once you go through multiple screens and agree to the examination points you are ready to start the exam again it will tell you what is the available time for this exam and how many questions are going to be there for this exam click on start exam button and again it is highlighting that you are currently appearing for this sandbox exam click on next here you will be able to see which question am i attempting out of the total number of questions i can mark this question for reviewing it later on i can also check this checkbox to leave the feedback you can see at the top right what is the total time remaining and what is your overall exam progress using the progress bar at the left bottom you can click on help to get some instructions comments various controls available as well as keyboard shortcuts that you can use in this examination in the main part you will be able to see the question and the choices you can click on calculator to calculate the numeric values you can change again the color scheme here to suit your eyes you can reset the answer that you have selected for this question and this is a new feature to take a an unscheduled break however note that when you are taking the break you have to adhere to certain restrictions you cannot revisit the questions that you have already attempted so far and you cannot use mobile or cell phone during the break please go through the instructions again you can also go back to the previous question or go forward to the next question similarly you can expect various types of questions for single choice multiple choices and so on which we will see in a few minutes also drag and drop and so on once you are done you can click on the review button which will give you high level overview of how many you have answered so far how many are unanswered how many of them you have marked for review 
and how many of them have you marked for comment and you can click on that number and this will take you to that particular section that you have currently marked for once you are done answering all the questions you can click on finish the button again on every screen you will be able to see what is the remaining time please keep an eye on this timer once you are done click on finish again it will ask you con for confirmation you can click on yes and it will take you out of the exam and at the same time it will tell you whether you have passed the exam or not and what is the score you have achieved out of 1000 you must achieve a score of minimum 700 to pass the any microsoft certification exam so this is about the sandbox let's go over to exam duration and question type again this link is available on the slides you can click on it and open via microsoft learn for the fundamentals exam you will have a exact exam duration of 45 minutes with the total duration being 65 minutes because there are certain pre-actions as well as post-actions to be done during the exam for associate and expert role-based exams it will be either 100 minutes or 120 minutes if there are no labs which currently they are not that currently microsoft has stopped performance based labs which is a very good news for you then you will have 100 minutes however if the labs are introduced again then it will be around 120 minutes as you scroll down you will be able to read about the unscheduled break the exam clock will continue during the break what you can or cannot do during this break is also mentioned here measure up is microsoft's official practice test partner this will give you a exam experience that is identical to the actual exam so if you are willing to share some money because all are all these practice tests are paid then i would suggest you go through for this practice tests next question types you can expect an active screen where you must choose from the drop down list what is the correct answer you may have to choose a single correct answer from multiple choices you may have to build a list by dragging and dropping the choices to the right hand side in the correct order you may have a case study based on which you can expect four or five questions and there will be multiple sections to that case study for fundamental exam there are no case studies but for associate and expert role based exams there are case studies similarly there we can be drag and drop hot area multiple choices again another type of questions which will be there for every certification exam are the repeated answer choices meaning same question will be repeated three times and same choices will be there you must have to select what is the correct answer for these three questions the catch here is you cannot revisit the answers that you have previously given so the previous button will not be available you can only give the answer once and move forward the same question three times and bunch of other types of questions so i urge you to take advantage of the exam sandbox as well as free sample questions you can download the study guide for the certification exam as a pdf and review the skills measured as well as objectives for each of them you based on the weightage you can expect more or less number of questions for that particular skill at the same time also go through the exam duration and question types 
as you are appearing for the first time. So I wish you all the best for the certification exam that hopefully you are going to take soon. This concludes our demo.